Hi, I'm Mark Tewart, and I'm the author of How to Be a Sales Superstar, Break All the Rules, and Succeed While Doing It. I wanted to talk to you about Chapter 9 of my book today, which is The Yellow Brick Road and Its Potholes. What I'm talking about is the sales process and traditional sales process and how it's antiquated and often we follow what we've been taught just because somebody said to do it. You get into sales, somebody says do A, B, C, D, you do it. Maybe you don't get the experience you want, maybe you don't get the results that you want, but you keep doing it because somebody said that's the way you got to do it. Wrong. If you're not getting the results you want, don't whine. Change it. Be contrarian. Be different. Be unique. Do the opposite of what everybody else is doing. You'll probably have more success. Example, what I mean by the yellow brick road and its potholes is in every potential sales situation, no matter what industry, no matter what business, you most likely have one of two things. You have a defined sales process or you have what I call the wingets. The wingets are people that just go out and think that if I have a defined sales process, then I'm going to look like a salesperson, that I'm going to be sales uh, cheesy, and I'm going to come off wrong. Well, the reality is you're making excuses because you don't want to be a salesperson. You've got everything on earth on your business card but salesperson. You're the um, business director. You, you come up with all these acronyms and terms and silly phrases that tries to say that you're not a salesperson. You're a salesperson. Be proud of it. A salesperson means you're going to serve somebody. You're going to give value to somebody. They're going to like the solution to the problem that they have and they're going to take whatever good or service that you have. First of all, just be proud of what you do. But secondly, the process, if you're going to sell, is very important. You've got to have a defined process and you've got to practice that process so much that it looks like it's natural to you because it is natural. Think of a great actor. They don't look like they're acting. You know why? In their brain, they're really not acting. They're becoming the role. They have practiced so much that they have become that person that they're conveying in that film to the point where they seem so natural that you are engaged in watching what they do. And as a salesperson, you are engaged wholly in helping somebody solve their problems. So you want to look at your sales process from A to Z, and you do want to have one, and you want to practice it so much that you're so natural that you come across in a way that is not only natural, but it's servitude, an attitude of servitude. Uh, and when you're with that customer, you're going to find that there are certain potholes in this road to the sale. There are certain places that seem to uh, lose your customer, that cause friction. And I wrote a series of articles that are called The Death of the Traditional Salesperson. And they've gotten a tremendous amount of play. People are commenting that it's being passed around on the internet like wildfire. And the reason is, is the traditional sales process is broken. With all the information sharing, with all of what's available on the internet, uh, with more of the education of the customer, you can't do exactly what you've done in the past. You have to look at how you can make this more customer friendly. And one of the ways is to educate yourself more about the business you're selling or the person that you're selling. And yes, you have to ask questions. You have to identify what the solution is and then create what I call a slippy slide method of selling. If you've ever been in an amusement park where they have water slides or a pool where they have a water slide, you go down this great big slippy slide and you go effortlessly and you're going fast and whoosh, you go into the pool. Well, sales should be like that for your customer. They should effortlessly go down. But in most of our sales processes, we put roadblocks on that slippy slide. And you know it. You know what it is. I spent a long time in the automotive industry and I can tell you that revolving around a customer's trade-in is a huge obstacle, but yet most salespeople are still treating that trade-in the same way. They wait till the very end of the process, then go into the, the trade-in and address the issue after they appraise it, and the customer's not happy, it causes a big conflict, there's no pre-education to the model, and what I invite salespeople in the automotive industry to do is to go to the trade-in first, right after the meet and greet. 
to open up all the potential issues that could be there to get rid of them up front to make your sales process easier. You'll also find that in the automotive industry, there's three comfort zones for human being, home, work, or car. That's where your customers spend 90% of their life. They bring their car with them to the dealership. It's a comfort zone. And it's one of the most important impediments to a sales process. So why not address it by asking questions and addressing it up front? Well, I'm just using that as an example. It doesn't matter whether you sell real estate, insurance, whether you sell widgets, whether you sell industrial goods. It doesn't matter what you do in life. If you look at the traditional sales process, there's things that need to be inverted. There's things that need to be put up front that are usually addressed at the end. One of them is price. People act like price is going to go away. It's not. Customers are thinking about price. And if you can address the issue of price, I'm not saying discount price. I'm not saying going out and give things away. I'm talking about address the issue in the customer's mind and how you're going to address it with them to make it go away in their mind. So when you do get to the issue of price, you're a trusted advisor. You've already talked about this and addressed these issues up front. You see, when you practice and you sit down and take the time to think and to write what your process is, where the normal objections come up, and how you can proactively remove them, you're going to become very, very competent in your sales process. And when you are competent, you're confident. Competence equals confidence. So write it down, write what the obstacles are, and begin to think of a proactive way to remove those obstacles. Look at your sales process, but don't do what everybody else does. You don't want to be that lemming, following the little lemming off the cliff into your death. You want to get in the door and get position. In other words, how can you have more perceived value as an expert? I would invite you as a salesperson to write articles for trade magazines. I would invite you to give little mini seminars about whatever problem that is involved in your industry that you've got the mega solution for and make it free. I invite you to speak to business associations. If you can write, if you can market, if you can speak, even if you don't consider yourself a communicator, if you don't consider yourself a speaker uh, and it scares you to death, you've got to do those things. You've got to be able to communicate, to speak, you've got to be able to write, you've got to be able to market. If you can do these things, people are going to reach out to you and that changes the positioning. You become first in that toll position. They're coming to you or they recognize you when you address them. When that happens, you're in a position of expert, you get treated differently. Everybody else out there selling is now going to be a beggar. You don't want to be a beggar. You want to be an expert with the solution to the problem that they have. It's either a want or a need problem, but they got a problem. If they want something bad enough, that's a problem. If they need something bad enough, it's a problem, but it's a problem and you want to be the trusted solution provider as an expert and I'm telling you right now when you do that, you do it well enough, they'll take off your hands whatever good or service or solution that you have rather than you feeling like you got to force feed them. We have all gotten a position with a customer where we're selling so hard, we're cramming whatever it is that we have down their throat and it may be the best thing for them but you're pushing them away and you feel it as it happens. You don't feel good about it. They don't feel good about it. And you walk away without a sale. They walk away without their solution. And you walk away knowing what you've got is good for them. It's the best value. But we didn't communicate it because our process is incorrect or our positioning is incorrect. I want you to think of whatever your positioning is and improve your position to be an expert Think about your sales process, revamp it, reinvent it, become a different salesperson. I want you to go to uh, a website and I want you to check out this book. I want you to go to superstarbookvideo.com and you're going to find this first chapter of the book which is called uh, Sales is um, uh, Not a Dirty Word. That's the first chapter. You're going to get that for free. You're going to get several bonuses for free. But if nothing else, go to that video, check out the video, check out that website, get the bonuses, and if it sparks an interest in what I'm saying makes sense to you, then I invite you to read this book. 
I've gotten so much comment and feedback about how this book has changed people's lives. Even people that did not consider themselves a salesperson. One thing I know in life, if you're going to be successful, if it's a teacher, if you're, if you're a police officer, salesperson traditionally, or anything else in life, you've got to be able to market and sell yourself. If you want a job, you've got to be able to market and sell yourself. So once again, this is Mark Tewart. I'm the author of How to Be a Sales Superstar, Break All the Rules and Succeed While Doing It. Please go to superstarbookvideo.com and start getting what you want and the results that you want right now. Thanks a lot.